Hello, Mark Russell here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, and Android app. We're going to give this left handed golfer some help. Let's see if we can get him playing some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Okay, I like this swing. There's lots of decent movements. We definitely see what people call the over the top. We see the downswing where the head gets very, very, so the middle, the CG of the head, if you like, gets over the force vector, the hand path, which means he's going to be swinging left for me. For him as a left hander, he's going to be swinging to the right. So what people will call out to win, it will cause a fade or a pull hook, I mean, subject to where the face is the path, it can call any kind of problems, but for most people it tends to make them, so we'll talk right-handed here, makes them tend to kind of cut the ball, same for him, he'd cut the ball, but just looks like a right-handed draw. Um, look, what I would like to see you do, we need to try and move the CG of the club below the force vector of the hands, that's what we need to do. Now, when I see someone swinging the way you do, the first thing I try with people, and it doesn't always work, because they might get, the, the, the swing, the four I'm going to give you doesn't work. So if you do it literally, it doesn't work. But I want you to feel like you're literally doing it. So what we see, and I don't see it that clearly from the video, but we're going to go with this one. I think we see quite a lot of kind of angle, quite close to the right shoulder, quite a narrowish kind of swing, as people call it. So if we call this width, we see you the opposite, quite narrow. Now, when I get narrow, if I make a backswing where I keep everything hinged quite close to my right shoulder, to drop the handle below the force vector of the hands feels literally like I haven't got enough time to almost spin the club back round to get it back to anywhere in relationship to my path, which hopefully helps me find some targets. It feels like I'd literally just hit it over there. Now, if I get a lot of width, then feel like I'm dropping the handle on the way down with width, so more away from my right shoulder, left wrist hinge, those kind of things. I feel like I've got loads of time to spin the handle out and hit the ball. So for you, and this is a hard one because the world of golf tuition likes to talk about lag and the importance of lag. I hate that word and I think it's really, really dangerous for most people. Um, most people have a face open to a path. The easiest way for me to do that is get the handle way forward of the head. So keep lag in there throughout the whole swing, don't let it go. Um, and, and people go, oh, you don't hit it far enough unless you put loads of lag in. Look, look, you'll hit it far enough to play off a 10, 5, 15 handicap, no problem. And then there's tour players who hit it far enough with not ridiculous amounts of lag in there. Um, look, I want you to create some width, some space. So on the back swing, feel like you're just moving everything away from that right shoulder, which to you, which would be your left shoulder. Um, feel like you're just taking it back, same path you're doing on the way back, but not so close. Then on the downswing from that maybe higher position, feel like you just drop that club down your back, drop it behind you, then spin it out back to the ball your club path will change instantly absolutely instantly if i was to do a narrow swing like you're doing i also feel like i mean i feel like i'd have to aim up the left to do that so let's pretend there's a tree here so it's forcing me to kind of hinge up i feel like i have to aim up the left and kind of cut it in there i wouldn't be able to feel like i could draw it from there at all i just didn't feel like i'd get the club face round in time that narrow uh, swing makes me feel like i'm going to keep the face open to the path if i do that it makes sense for you to swing way to your right which is us to the left so cutty versions to try and move the ball from right to left for you left to right for us on to the target width get some width and then at the top of the backs we get the width by dropping it behind you so go kind of into that corner back and back to try and hit the ball it will absolutely transform your club buff i've had people come for lessons who have cut the ball slice the ball all their lives had hundreds of lessons i just tell them to do this for which they think is wrong because they think you should get lag, the club path changes instantly and they, they just forget lag. They just go, all right, yeah, I can do that. I, I, that makes sense now. But it's something they would always be told not to do, which is why they've never accomplished it. Give it a go. I'd love to hear how you get on. Post comments and thanks for sending the swing. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.